What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Master Duel Progression Series. Last episode we was on Spell Rulers, we opened the Spell Ruler box. This episode we are finally on Pharaoh's Servant. Now Pharaoh's Servant has a good list of cards that could actually upgrade our deck to hold its own even more. Looking at the list, there's stuff like Chain Destruction, Call of the Haunted, these are our ultra rare. As secret rare, secret rare? As secret rare, we have, I don't know why it's so far down, Imperial Order, Jinzo, Jinzo is so good. Uh, Gear 3, the Iron Knight, I mean it's going to be a bit harder to summon Jinzo if we do get Jinzo, but it's still a good upgrade to our deck. Dust Tornado, these staples are so important. A limited removal, there is so many good cards in this deck that's going to boost our deck from here to here immediately. Now, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Our first pack of the day out of the 24. That's not 24. Now, it's the first pack of the day. One out of 24, let's go. Our first card is... DNA Surgery. That's not really gonna help. Gradius Dokuyorba. I can't even say their names. Reign of Mercy. Okay. Only Tank. Minor Goblin Official. Invitation to a Dark Sleep. Level 5. It's, it's not that great, to be honest. Shift. Okay, that was our first pack. Pretty disappointing. Now, second pack. Souls of the Forgotten. Science Soldier. Invitation to a Dark Sleep again. Island Turtle. Ghost, Gravity Bind, and Premature Burial. Isn't Premature Burial banned? Gravity Bind, level 4 or higher monsters cannot attack. That's actually really good if we are able to play it. That might be banned as well. I am not sure. Okay. Magical Hats. There we go. The one that Yugi used to cheat his games. The Eye of Truth. Island Turtle. Ground Collapse. I'm, these are the first time I'm seeing some of these cards. Mad Sword Beast. Oh, this might be a good addition. Piercing damage, but at 14,000. I wish. 1,400 attack. It's not pretty good. Fly, you better get out of my way before I smack you. Morphin Jar. Oh, my God. That would have been goaded. This has been a really bad draw so far. Vampire, baby. He looks so cute. Thousand Eyes Idol. Now, we have Relinquished. Thousand Eyes Idol plus Relinquished equals Thousand Eyes um restrictor or something like that so if we can pull the restrictor then we confusion into it no we can't because we don't have polymerization i might have to just add that in every episode i say that but it is what it is twin headed fire dragon call of the haunted let's go okay nice this is really good for our deck right now this is definitely getting it added into the deck so grotto magic drain mirror wall bro what are these pools where's the jinzos where's the chain of destruction Where's all these other goated cards? All we've got was a Call of the Haunted out of a whole box so far. This ain't looking good, breath. It's not looking good. Monster Recovery. Okay, we're gonna have to hope for the best from the two Master Packs that we're gonna pull today. No Jinzo, none of those good cards. Come on, man. Limiter Removal. Limiter Removal's not bad. It's good for like a Cyber Dragon deck later on, maybe. Double the attack of all machine monsters you currently control. Seven completed again. There's a lot of machine cards and that was our last pack. Damn, we didn't get anything from that. Just looking at what we got, we got an Imperial Order. Oh yeah, there we go. Imperial Order is banned. Premature Burial is banned. A lot of cards from this era are banned because of how broken they used to be. Time Seal is banned, but it's allowed in the OCG and TCG at three. So basically, a lot of the cards, except Call of the Haunted, is banned from what we just pulled. So let's get right to it. Open two Master Packs. Let's hope for the best. We do need good rare cards as well. The cards that we opened in the box was absolutely trash. Apart from that, we actually need some good staples from our Master Packs as well. So here's our first Master Pack. Master Diplomon. That's a machine card. We have limited removal, but it's a level 5. That's not bad. That could be played. Fright for a sheep, we don't have polymerization. Bluebeard, the plunder shipwright. Unfortunately, we need plunder patrols for that. Insector, firefly, we need insectors. Neospace pathfinder, if we get a neospace. Climate change, I don't want face up, I don't like please. Kaiser sea snake. If this card is special summoned, its level becomes four and original attack becomes zero. Well, 
I thought I was in for a treat. I thought we was gonna get a free special 2500 monster, but no. Weathering Soldier, if this card is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard by a card effect, it has a good attack for a four star. Okay, cool, that's not bad. Again, uh, no super res. Let's see if we have anything. Horror Ghoul. You can make this card's attack zero and if you do special. Yeah, nah, we don't have that. Jurak Titano. Yep, that's not gonna help us either. Heater, the Fire Charmer. We don't have any field spells. That's actually a good field spell search. Uh, project Protector with Eyes of Blue. We don't have any tuners. Abyss Storm, send one face up Yumi you control. I don't have a Yumi. And the Fiend, if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each pyro monster in their graveyard. Again, a good Tenpai counter, but very situational. These cards, I don't think are gonna make the cut. The only ones I see making the cut is actually Call of the Haunted from the other deck and also the level four that we just pulled. This one, Weathering Soldier. So Weathering Soldier is gonna make it into the cut and everything else is out. Yeah, see you at the deck profile. So here we go. This is what our deck profile is looking like this week. Not many changes because one, our pools were very shit and two, well, there wasn't really much we could actually add to the deck to make it stronger. Now, we did have a limit remover that I did want to put into this deck initially. We do have a few machine monsters like Barrel Dragon and da -da -da -da, what's your face? Genix Neutron, aka Jimmy Neutron. However, yes, it's good, but it's also ultra rare on Master Duel, so we need to think about that as well when we're actually building these decks if it is worth in the long run to actually craft that card and put it into our deck. Also, as you can see, I'm broke from making a Tempai deck. We went with this, we've added our master pack pool, Weathering Soldier as a four star 2000 attack monster beef stick. We also have added a few trap cards, Call of the Haunted, obviously, uh, Gravity Bind to stop the from actually level four or higher monsters from attacking because most of ours are beef sticks and that's what we're gonna use to win. We have Magic Drain, which stops them from playing spell cards. Call of the Haunted, Solemn Judgment, and Phantom Knights have stayed in. Apart from that, I think our win con is still relinquished. So, without further ado, let's get ourselves into the games. Win the coin toss. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Bro, am I in like an Asian server or have like Asians just taken over Master Duel? Every game that I played has been against an Asian. No disrespect, I love Asians. Okay, so we have Weathering Soldier, our four star 2000 beat stick. Jirai Gumo in the hand. This is a bit risky, but you know, it is what it is. It's the only way we're gonna win. Uh, which are the Black Forest? I'm really Libramance Asian. We do have the Ritual card in our hand as well, so we can play Libramance Agent. Um, and he's also played Supreme King's Castle. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna play Libramance Agent. We're gonna show Relinquished in our hand. And then we're gonna play Libramance Agent face up in attack position. Now that's not gonna do anything. So, next we are going to play our Weathering Soldier for another 2000 attack. Once per turn during the end phase, this card loses 600 attack. Oh, I didn't read that. So we might actually want to go with seven colored fish. Fuck it, yeah, we will. Seven colored fish, go to attack phase. Libromancer agent, attack for 2000. Seven colored fish, attack for 1800. And let's end our turn. Okay, we got him down to 4200. We got him down to 2400, uh, 4200. Let's see if we could actually win the game. And if we win the game, we get two more master packs. I highly doubt it, but if it happens, you never know. We've been winning games. He sets a back row. End phase. Wait, we're gonna win? Maybe? Mr. Tomato. He has 4,200. I got Weathering Soldier. So I'm gonna normal summon Weathering Soldier. Is this the first game? We're gonna actually win? What's his back row though? Seven colored fish. Please go through. Libromancer agent. Weathering Soldier, end him! End him now! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! That's our first official win with our Progression Series deck. I mean, first official. By first official, I mean 
by going to battle face and bringing them down to zero LP without a disconnect or something. Like, if all the other games have been disconnects, opponents just disconnected for some reason and gave us wins for no reason at all. But this is the first game we've actually pulled off a combo. Libromance Agent revealed Relinquished Special Summon, got Seven Colored Fish and Weathering Soldier, our new monster card, and we won. Game one, that's two master packs already for next week. Holy shit, okay. Today's been good. We're gonna win that coin toss and I am going to go second because I don't want him to know my deck. Let's see if we could pop with any combos this turn. Tribute to the Doom, Giant Germ, Jurai Gumo and Barrel Dragon. Okay, we need to get Barrel Dragon onto the field somehow. Oh, Tempai's. Bro, why are you even casual? I guess he's just testing out the deck, but like Tempai versus Jurai Gumo. <laughs> I want to see how he. I want to see how he pops off. Okay. Yep, he's gonna special summon that. There's the Chandra Genroku Pyra M phase. Okay, cool. <sighs> Yikes. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna tribute to the Doom. Either way, I'm gonna discard Barrel Dragon. Get rid of this. I mean, we're playing against a Tempai, bro. Maybe if I waste enough time. He's gonna bring him back. <laughs> but maybe if I waste enough time, he might just quit. We're gonna flip this, play this down, and then we're gonna end turn. Oh, we still magma nut, magma nut. Bro, you banished it, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Your Tempai deck has nothing against my honey, honey. Yep, there we go. Flip summon. Let's return. <laughs> now, which one do I even return? If I ret let's return this, sure. Uh, he, he's gonna pop off either way, man. GG, GG. We don't want to see the rest of that. Go practice somewhere else. It's the same guy. I'm not playing against him again. This don't count. Bye. Ain't nobody got time for your Tempai deck, bro. Go play against someone else. Looking good, really good, really nice. Bro, is no one else searching casual games? Go away. Like, is there is there like one person in Europe just playing casuals and then everyone else is in Asia? Is that what the deal is? Fuck off! Stop playing the game! Alright, we're gonna wait 10 seconds. I bet he's doing this as well, and then we're both gonna do it at the same time and get each other again. Now we can't find anyone. There we go, Bad Maxi, thank you. Someone with sense. Thank you, and I'll go second. Please, Bad Maxi. But even it doesn't matter, because in the TCG now you got Fuolos and Pearly, whatever the fuck their name is. Wait, is this the first guy I beat? Because he had the wolf as well. No, unexpected die. Okay. Sansi Genius Lokai. What is he playing? Is he doing the same thing I'm doing? So oh no, he has links, bro. I don't have that. No idea. This is the first time I've seen this deck. And we have Jirai Gumo again. <laughs> we gotta take some gambles, man. We gotta take some gambles. Do you guys reckon we have a chance? I have no idea what this deck does. That card looks cool. Yes. Yes. A rosemary. A rosemary. A Roma rosemary. A Roma seraphy jasmine. This is one of those decks that actually need like 50,000 combos to actually pull off and if you have any interrupts it's game over like if i had any imperms ashes i don't think this combo would have went on for so long that's why most of these decks are not viable Therion, lily barrier nice combo bro 
How long did it take you to memorize this? You wanna see my combo? My combo is seven colored fish plus mirror wall. Brother, uh. Brother, uh. What are you doing, brother? Uh. Two hours later, we're still here. Okay, now, now, you see, I respected you for saying Ban Max C in the beginning as your name, but now I see why you want Maxi banned. You want to get this combo off. And you wanting to ban Maxi is for personal reasons only. You want to get this combo off and if someone plays Maxi in the beginning, you can't special summon all of the 10, 20 cards that you're special summoning right now. And that's why you don't want Maxi to be played. Not because it would actually benefit the Yu-Gi-Oh scene. Oh, there's Rosemary. I knew there was a Rosemary. I kept calling that one Rosemary for some reason. This is one of those random decks that you get at a TCG locals. And you have no Ash Blossom, no Effect Veiler in hand. And they just go through with the whole combo and they're like, response? Special summon this. Response? A special summon this. Response? And you're just like, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bro, I have nothing in hand. Go ahead. End phase. Oh. Would you look at that? I draw. Dark Zebra. We're gonna Gravity Bind. We're gonna Mirror Wall. And then we don't even have a card to actually beat any of these monsters. We can't tribute to the Doom because something is preventing something. While your life points are higher than your opponents, your opponents cannot target plant. Yeah, okay, that's why. So we're gonna get Jirai Gumo. He's like, what? What's going on? Why is he playing Jurai Gumo? Should I activate this card? That bro, the only thing that I'm able to do is actually attack your cactus bouncer. Nothing else. And the only reason I can activate this now is to get rid of destroy my own monster. So we need to be careful of that. Because he I cannot target his monsters because of this. And I have no idea what this card does. That's a lot of text that I don't want to read right now. So we're gonna activate his cact we're gonna attack his cactus. And then we're gonna gamble. So gambling's not good, but we're gonna flip a coin. Bro, what's this? You, you take away life points and then you give yourself life points. This is... What's the point? Just don't do it. Yeah, you see, Aroma Seraphy. The first thing that you think is Aroma Rosemary. Wow, he actually didn't let me have fun. That's sad. Sure. I'm gonna discard Dark Zebra and see what I can destroy. Yeah, fuck it. We get rid of this. I know we're not gonna be able to. He's probably gonna be like, no. I can't activate Gravity Bind. Yes, I can. So his cactus isn't going to be able to attack. That's fine. His link monster is. We take a bit of damage. Um, I don't want to activate mirror wall just yet because I don't want to pay 2,000 life points. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Seven colored fish. Oh, wait, shit. Wait, this affects me as well. But I still have a plan. Oh no, he's just going to get rid of it now. Hold on. Battle phase. Can I attack? I can't attack because of my own card. Ah, I, I forgot. I forgot that this included my own cards as well. Shit, I would have rushed recklessly and then killed him off. If I set this, he's just going to use the effect again and get rid of my seven colored fish. So I don't want to set it either. Maybe I should have because he's probably going to get rid of gravity mine. But instead of Gravity Bind, if he just banishes seven colored fish, he attacks directly. So I don't know what he's going to do. Um, yeah, there we go. Is he going with seven? Oh, he's going with Gravity Bind. So I could have set Rush recklessly. As long as he doesn't kill me this turn. I mean, he has four cards in hand, man. I don't know what I'm hoping about. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, Magnolia. Right, right, right. Plant monsters you control cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. That's nice. It's a nice end board, but to get to the end board, you had to like special summon 50 cards, which just looks like Ash Blossom or Effect Veiler just to stop you. Infinite Imperm, and you're done. You know, a Max C. That's why your name is Ban Max C. A Max C, and you're done. Because I would have drawn 10 cards. Well, not with this deck, but you know. Oh no. 
Does he win? That's 5,000. No, that's 4,800. I'm still alive. I'm still alive and kicking, baby. Battle phase. Probably dead next turn, though. Depending on the card I draw, most likely going to die. But we have faith in the cards. You never know. I draw. Heavy Storm. Well then. And he activates what? Bless Winds? I mean, it's GG, but I, I want to I wanna kind of use Heavy Storm on him. I'm getting scared a bit. And I play... Oh, my fucking God. There we go. Heavy Storm. Yes. No. Wait, what? That's not going to do anything. I just used it for because if... Okay, for the sake of using it. Okay, cool. I see, I see. I just want to see this. I just want to see the destruction of his monsters. There we go. Why is Heavy Storm banned in the TCG? Okay, yep. And we are going to surrender and end the game there. Nice. GG. We won one game out of three again, which means we are actually going to open two Master Packs next week as well, along with the Booster Pack Labyrinth of Nightmare. Hopefully, we get to upgrade our deck a bit more, but we're getting good. We're getting we're getting a win at least every episode out of three games. So, you know, it is what it is. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like down below. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Draw the line.